relocating to a state-of-the-art covered stadium costing up to $250 million is one of the options being proposed for the earthquake-prone Yarrow Stadium in New Plymouth. But the hook in that the Taranaki Stadium Trust, uh, which owns Yarrow, says it can only afford a basic fix of less than $50 million. Our Taranaki Whanganui reporter Robin Martin has more. <laughs> The covered stands at Yarrow, the spiritual home to Taranaki Rugby, have been off limits since June after being declared an earthquake risk. Fans who bothered to turn up to Taranaki Bulls matches have been camped out at either end of the ground, giving the stadium an eerie atmosphere. It's been blamed for Taranaki's dismal season, which saw them relegated to the championship and lose the Ramfurly Shield. Taranaki Stadium Trust boss Mike Neald says the good news is that engineers say the existing stadium can be fixed, meaning the community has a full range of options. At one end of the scale, you've got repair the, the existing stands and, and put them back into production and, and get the stadium up and running again, right the way through to um, building a brand new stadium at, at the existing site or, or indeed a brand new stadium at a different site. Mr Neald says a repair would cost less than $50 million and building a new stadium at Yarrow four to five times that much and more still if it was covered. Relocating to Pukikura Raceway, adjacent to the city's indoor sports arena, has also been sketched out for a similar price. Neald says if the community wants the Rolls-Royce option, the spanner in the works will be funding. If the good public of Taranaki say um, no, just, just repair it and bring it back to where it was, um, that's what we'll do and we'll get on with doing that. But if they, if they come back and say, no, we want a much more extended solution, uh, the challenge then comes to us uh, as, as a group of local authorities to say, well, how are we going to fund this? The chief executive of the Taranaki Rugby Union is Jeremy Parkinson. He says the union could live with a basic fix at Yarrow's. If it's the most practical is a fix and the stadium can be reinstated to back to what it was, you know, that, that's as good as anything in the country. But Mr Parkinson wouldn't say no to a covered stadium either. If we're tr really looking to put the region on the map, there's only one, the Rolls-Royce model, if they are talking a, a covered stadium, there's only one in the country, and that's, that's in Dunedin, and look what that's done for that, that region and the economic development there. If, if we could get a covered stadium here, it would, would, would be huge. The New Plymouth District Council transferred ownership of Yarrow to the Taranaki Regional Council in 2014. The District Council operates the stadium and it also owns Pukikura Raceway. In a statement, the Mayor, Neil Holdham, says it is important the options for Yarrow are weighed up carefully and that the public has its say. Mr Holdham says the city should have an international quality stadium and he looked forward to the Stadium Trust presenting detailed costings and options. He did not answer questions about whether the District Council would contribute to the cost of repairs or a new build. On the streets of New Plymouth, there were mixed views on what to do. Well, I reckon they should start from scratch, build a new one. Put it somewhere else, it's not traditional. The arrows is the arrows and that's where it should be. A multi-purpose stadium would be an amazing thing to have in New Plymouth. I like the uh, one at the Pukikura Park. New Plymouth is in need of a more versatile venue. It's not all about sport to me. Oh, I personally think it needs to stay at Yarrow's. They've already spent about 30 million on it. Why didn't they do it properly the first time? The Regional Council controls the Stadium Trust. Its chairman, David McLeod, says borrowing will be required to fund whatever option is chosen, and there are limits to how much the council can borrow. He says if the community wants an upgraded facility, then financial support will be needed from other funders. Formal public consultation will take place next year after options and costings are put to the community. Ina Mutu Motihotaka o te Ahine, ko Robin Matnaho.